morning, South Bay. We're really happy to be here with you this morning and to be worshiping with you again. I looked at the calendar the other day and it was a little bit easier to believe that we're already almost halfway through the year with all the stuff that's going on, but still kind of amazing to me that we're already almost into June. I had the opportunity this last week to go and eat at a restaurant in San Diego and it brought back a kind of sense of normalcy. And we hope to see you and to be worshiping with you in person very soon as well as we're able. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. As we get started this morning, let's commit this to the Lord and, and pray for the day. Father God, we're so grateful for the time that you've given us, the time that we have to worship you, to lay things at your feet and to pray to you this morning, God. Help us to do that, uh, to be within your presence. Help us to be within your will. As we sing these songs, God, I pray that you would hear them, that it would be a blessing to your heart. I pray that the messages that we hear would be a blessing to us, to our congregation. Use it to grow us, God. Help us to advance your kingdom. In Christ's name. this morning that we wanted to communicate to you. First of all, Pastor Dave is back from Florida this week, so it's great to have him back. Uh, and he'll be up preaching again soon uh, when we're able to meet back together, but for now we're still going to do the videos, at least for this week, and move forward. Uh, we also wanted to communicate, we talked last week about Pastor Nate and the surgery that he had, and he is back home and he's doing well and recovering, and we would like to encourage you to continue praying for him. Uh, and Ruth and their family as they go through this time and this process. Uh, as I was talking about, we 
got some word this week that the state and county have allowed for certain things uh, to reopen and churches are starting to be one of those team is taking all of the instructions and recommendations that they're putting forth into consideration as well as some changes that we might have to make uh, in order to accommodate bringing our congregation back into our sanctuary and allowing us to worship together as a congregation. And I know when people hear the word changes that it can be a little bit daunting. So we wanted to go over some of the things that are possible to change as we come back into our sanctuary. So first of all, the thing that's been clear so far in the regulations, and by the way, all of this is kind of up in the air. So we're going based on what we know right now. But it looks like the seats will have to be a little bit farther spread apart and families will probably be able to sit together, but maybe not next to other people directly. So we're going to be trying to accommodate that as best we can. It also looks like we might have to have uh, hand sanitizer and other things available as people are walking in. Uh, masks may be required if you're within six feet of another person. And we're also thinking uh, about the offering baskets. Since those get passed around and people have to touch them, we're probably not going to be able to do things like that. And so we do have the black boxes that are in the back of the room that you could always still stick your envelope in, or you could still send offering in uh, the same way that we've been talking about, through the mail or using Zelle, the uh, app. And we also were thinking about communion, and we're thinking about how that would work and trying to go through the logistics of it, so our team is still making a decision on how exactly that would work, but something would probably have to change there again because it gets passed out. So those are some of the things that were in the back of our mind trying to work through and figure out the logistics of, and we'll be communicating with you a couple of different ways. We have the Facebook group that's available. If you search for South Bay Community Church, it's a public group on Facebook, and you're able to go on there and see any updates that we post. We're also going to be posting the updates on our website, uh, southbaycc.org, with specific information about uh, all of this as it comes out and as we make decisions. And we're hoping to be back in our sanctuary worshiping together probably about mid-June so that we can get things kind of back to a normalcy. So we'll be keeping you updated and make sure that you have all the information as it happens. We also wanted to communicate that the food distribution program will still be running. Uh, it happens every Wednesday afternoon, starting in the morning time, probably around 10 or 11 or so, the truck arrives and uh, we need some volunteers to help package and get the food ready to go. And then between 12 and 1, I believe, the food starts being passed out to people and people are coming in in a drive through model still for the time being to pick up food. So if you're able to come volunteer, we could use your help. If you're uh, needing food in your household or if you know someone, maybe in your neighborhood, your community, that could use it, uh, we'd be happy to serve them as well. Tell them to come on down to the church on Wednesdays. Uh, and as we move forward with all of this, we're still offering the prayer options that we've been talking about the last couple weeks. And if you have any questions about uh, the changes and maybe if you're sick, you have something going on and you need help, uh, our leadership team is always available. And we wanted to offer that again by emailing prayer at southbaycc.org or by going on the website and going to the prayer request form link and filling that out. Uh, we look forward to being able to worship back with all of you, and we want you to have a, a great week as we move into the other worship song and also the messages. Thank you.
Because of who 